welcome back to the channel. You know, I'm finna. Look what he said. You know, Papa Titty now sending him a noon. Yeti 16. Dial it right there on the yellow. All right. But anywho. Yeah. So this is going to be the part two of the Vicrest uh, rear wide body flares. Um, so I already removed it. <laughs> I did an adjustment of a cut that I need to do on this end right here. Uh, just because of preference that I kept hurting the rub. Um, but yeah, that's the good thing about stuff like this is, you know, you test it, ride it for a while, see what's rubbing, see what's not rubbing, what's your clearance. And yeah, so I already made my adjustment on that. But like I told you guys before on the part one video, um, I'm going to re, uh, install the actual 3M super hole tape and, um, take off the piece of crap, quote unquote, 3M tape that they gave with the kit. I'm not trying to bash on by Chris but um yeah so i'm gonna remove all of this and uh re-put it back on all right guys so as of now i've Teared off majority of the 3M. I mean, you still have little specks like that, but that's easy to be removed. Uh, I can use either glue off or just scrape it off with a razor blade. Um, so still got some right here. Still got a little bit right here. But the following process is going to be uh, basically just wiping it all down with al rubbing alcohol, and then um, yeah. So basically, the rears are done the same way I did the front flares. Um, I did the plastic epoxy from JB Weld on certain areas just like that I spaced it out in between uh, that way like I said it creates more of a hold of the adhesive with the 3M and um, yeah I think this time with the super hold 3M from AutoZone should definitely work uh, it wasn't coming off but just you know have more security uh, just uh, keeping it on there you know nice and flush uh, no flaps I thought I heard a flap but it's not a flap but yeah so stay tuned for the next slide all right so now is the part for me to re-put that 3m on the side of the gaps and like I said before, it's all a preference on how you're gonna install the 3M. It's either if you're gonna do the whole entire, uh, the whole entire flares with this epoxy from JB Weld, or you can just space it out in between six to five inches, uh, spacing uh, throughout the arch of the flare. But here's a 3M tape, and it's a half inch. That way you know it's not a quarter inch, or seven eighths is a half inch. All right, guys, so the, the flare is coming back on. The 3M is fully put on around the flare. And um, we're gonna remount the flare onto the, the fender. I'm sorry, I'm just wiping off the sweat, but I'll show you guys that in a time-lapse video now. So the passenger side is already completed, re-3M'd it, it's holding on there really well. I don't see no gaps in between the body and the flare. Uh, I also redid the driver's side, that's also holding on pretty good now. I uh, didn't show the process of this, but it's the same process uh, from the passenger side, which is basically re-3M'ing in between the gaps, uh, kind of explained as well what we filled in in between the gaps for that way that uh, the JB Weld created more of an actual uh, surface for 3M to stick really well. And like I said, that's really highly important if you're gonna stick with the 3M or other people that I know of, like Toronto Racing and uh, two other subscribers that I know of, they did the actual 3M adhesive glue that glues the kit to the car. Uh, that's another thing you can do uh, down the road if that's what you plan on doing on gluing the kit to the car you can do that uh, removing that kind of body 
piece from the car I think they said is not really recommended because this, it is going to damage uh, your paint if you already have the actual flare painted uh, but in my case um, I'm going to leave like this for now I'm not going to uh, put the glue unless down the road something major happens but for me as of now it is working out pretty well um, even through the California heat you know being in the 100 degrees weather um, it's holding on pretty solid uh, nothing's flopping anymore um, it's flexing out pretty well so I uh, give a props to the 3M super hold uh, so yeah like I said before if y'all want to continue to see more of the videos that I'm, I'm gonna be doing you know like comment if you guys have any tips or if you guys want any tips from how I did mine I'll be you know gladly to answer any questions uh, but yeah remember subscribe and y'all see more later